Okay, and welcome back to Zonic TV, I'm Andrew Weir, and this is just a quick update to the character creation tutorial series where the next step is rigging, and uh, rigging is to create bones, which then we're going to white paint to control the mesh. And I'm actually going to make two other videos that are new to the series uh, where we actually go through that on the human character. Um, but just to get ready for that, what we would also want to do with the character is to delete any. Uh, anything that's under the clothing that we can't see because if we're moving around our arm and uh, we've got all this stuff that we can't see underneath so it's going to be the shoulders uh, let's go start appearing through the side of the t-shirt if we haven't rigged them in the exact same way uh, weight painted them in the exact same way um, and that can be kind of a problem because you don't really want it to be showing through um, but if we do delete it then you're going to make sure, want to make sure that you have a different file uh, with, or, or maybe just a different layer with um, an exact copy of the mesh because you're going to be messing around with it, you're going to be deleting whole areas that you probably worked on um, and then also maybe even copies of the clothing with the mesh uh, if, you, if you wanted to because if you know you're going to be using the t-shirt again a lot then it'd be quicker just to duplicate that with the mesh um, and then you know just delete the arm brace here which I just added in it's literally just a uh, cube uh, or a square shape and um, what we're going to do is we may as well just look at deleting it right now anyway so you're going to want to make sure that the clothing is just a little bit further down than so we can see here that the it, the ring loop that I'm going to delete down to is here and the clothing ring loop is here so when we do delete the rest um, it's not going to be visible that there's nothing there so let's go ahead and delete uh, what we want so I'm going to select just this one all the way um, oops, all the way along here around there to the shoulder down the back and we're going to go down to one more because uh, when we delete the vertices it's going to delete all these edges as well so that's okay it's like this uh, that one I think that's about it with these two vertex uh, vertices over here and now just delete vertices and Selected one further down than I should have here. So I just undid that. Delete vertices. And it looks a bit weird at the moment, but we take it into object mode and you can't tell that, uh, that there's nothing underneath. It looks exactly the same. So, you know, now when I'm moving this around, it's going to be a lot easier. Um, of course, maybe if we did stretch the arm out with it being so close, uh, you might be able to see it, but I, I doubt it. So it's probably okay, and if you want want to do the same things like this as well, just you know because uh, it's not visible underneath. So, um, I mean, if 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 there's a chance that people can see it, which there kind of is with this one, you might not want to do it. But I'm just saying that if this is if this is like a arm brace, it's all the way around the arm and so on. You're gonna to want to delete um, what's behind it anyway. Just because it's it makes it a lot better, but obviously we can see that, so we might want to edit a little bit more uh, if we if we wanted to and bring that down so it's not visible. But yeah, so that's how that's done. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.